Hello, Scrabblegers! This is Megan, and I am back today with a couple of hauls for you. So, first off, I'm going to show you a little haul that I got from a new Scrappy friend. Her name is Shadney, and she is awesome. Um, her and I, we've been kind of chatting on Instagram. I recently found her, I think, through Heather Scraps or not Heather's Crafts, Heather's Crafty Life. And um, so she is a YouTuber and she's on Instagram and she's uh, also an Etsy shop owner. And when I found that out, I was so excited. I immediately went and um, purchased some of her Etsy shop goodies. So. Um, she gave me this cute little gift here of this wood veneer pumpkin for October. And, um, so what I purchased was the back to school, um, collection. Some of the things I bought them separately. And then when I got them, I realized I should have just bought the whole collection because now I want to go back and buy the whole collection, but I don't know that I have enough money to buy the whole collection again. But it's super duper cute and I absolutely love it. So what I bought was just the individual pieces. Um, and her Etsy shop name is just her name, which is Shadney. Um, so first you can see I bought the computer with the little mouse, which is super cute. All three of my kids did online learning last year. Um, because of Corona and everything. Um, and so I thought that would be perfect to document um, a layout like that. Then I bought these cute little epoxy stickers. Come on. Um, so one of them has, you know, the computer. Then we have the playground. Um, Reach for the stars which is just super cute. And then back to school and bookworm. And then also a little apple with a caterpillar on it. I thought those were stinking cute. So of course I had to get those. Then I got all of these epoxy buttons, which are super cute. And then I got the back to school wood veneer set, which just has the mask, which I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. Then the apple 2020 first day of, and then back to school. So I absolutely loved all of these. So those are going to go in my stash. And then she also sent this little thank you card and it's got a little freebie in it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like this cute little camera. So I'll have to open that and pull that out. So that's what I bought. And then because Shadney is so amazing, she sent me some goodies for free, which I was so excited about. And I'm probably going to go back into her shop and make another purchase this month because they are just adorable. So she sent all of these. This is the Halloween collection um, to me for free. Isn't she amazing? So these are super cute. They're balloons. Look at that. It's a little cat balloon and then a little eyeball balloon. I love the mummy. Like seriously, I just want all the mummies. <laughs> They're so cute. And then this one has the spider web, the spider, some stars, a bat, jack-o'-lantern, a ghost, a coffin, which is something that you don't really see for Halloween stuff. I thought that was so cute. A witch hat and then a moon. So I thought that was cute. And then this one, I think this one is my favorite out of the whole collection. Um, Happy Halloween. And then it's like decorated with a bunch of different fun things like the slime or is that supposed to be blood? I don't know, <laughs> but it's super cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I forgot to show you. So this one, the butterfly or butterfly, oh my goodness, balloons came with some twine too. 
like purple, green, and orange. So I'm excited about that. That'll be super fun to play with. Then we've got the jack-o'-lanterns and the different faces. And then the confetti, which I am so excited about this. This is the second product that I am just absolutely dying over. Come on, focus, camera. So you've got the cute little ghosts and the spiders and like the dog bones and the moons and hearts and stars and bats. Oh, and look, the little skulls. I didn't even see those before. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's some of her Halloween collection, um, which I'm so excited to put these things in my stash and use them. I really, I've had them for like, I think a week or so. I really need to get going. I just, I wanted to do a haul video and I just haven't had time to do a haul video. So that was the first things that I wanted to show you was um, Shadney is on Etsy. Make sure you go and, um, oh my goodness, make sure you go and support her. She's awesome and amazing. Um, yeah, so that's first up. Then we're going to do, so I hosted a party in, what month was it? August, a close to my heart party. And it, um, went really, really, really well. I was able to order $180 in free products. And I also got, I think it was four half price products. So I got $180 in products and I spent, I think 86 with tax and everything. So all of that, well, this is some of it. Let me pull it out. I was, this is the second time I've recorded this video. The first time it was like almost midnight and I was like so tired and I was just saying weird things. So I decided to refilm this. Okay. And then this huge stack of inks, which I'm so excited to increase my ink arsenal. Um, also, so I'll start with the half price items. So I got this little spinny thing. It's got a spinny little carousel thing on the bottom and then it has places for inks and I'm going to put it on um, my desk, but I have to like find a place for it first. But so it like spins around the top comes off and you can like move these around and stuff like that. But basically it's just to organize your inks and I'm super excited about it. Normally I think it's like over a hundred dollars and I got it for like 56. So that was one of my hostess half price items that I got. Then I got, so I'm just going to start showing you, um, the stays on jet black ink. I have one, but it is running out and I've bought the refill and it just doesn't work very well. So I just decided to buy a new one. Then I got Versamark and I used to have this, but it ran out as well. So I decided to buy more. And then I also got some clear embossing powder. It doesn't want to focus, but that's from Ranger, which is really fun that Close to My Heart is starting to sell products like that. Um, so I almost got some Tem Holtz inks, oxide inks. I'm, I kind of wish I had decided to do that, but... I didn't, but that's okay. I'll get those maybe next month in my order. Um, so the first one that I ordered was Bluebird. And the reason I haven't opened it yet is because I actually already had Bluebird. I meant to purchase Carolina Blue, I think is what it was, or Blue Bell or something like that. And I got the wrong one. So there's a little surprise with this at the end if you stay tuned. Okay, so then I got Scarlet, which is one of the new colors. I got Desert Rose. 
I got linen, peacock, and this on camera it's showing up as like a blue color. It's more of like a tealish green. And then paprika, which is orange, it's showing up as red. It is not red. <laughs> it's so weird how it's like color correcting this. This is evergreen, which I believe is an old color. All of these other colors that I showed you are, well, no, I think green apple is new. And then wisteria is new as well. I think paprika is new also, but these three colors I think are old. I just don't have them. So that was fun to kind of buy some of the new colors mixed with the old colors. Um, then I got the cedar and pine compliments. And the cedar and pine was their Christmas collection last year, I believe. Um, I didn't order any of it though, so it was kind of fun to place an order and to get some of last year's collection um, that was still in the store. Oh, I forgot too because I had put them away. So I also bought the Scarlet Exclusive Inks Reinker and the Desert Rose Reinker. Um, it was an accident. I totally didn't mean to buy them, but I thought that would be kind of fun to like maybe do some mixed media stuff with these, um, inks cause they are, um, like the dye from the inks. So it'd be kind of fun to just use them like watercolors is what I'm thinking. Okay. Then I'll show you the three stamp sets I got. This first one is Mega Splash which I thought was super pretty. I probably, I don't know that I would ever use the boots, but I really loved the floral. If you can see that. Can't really see it very well because of my lights. And then I loved the little um, trinkets. I don't know what you would call the little teeny tiny stamps. Then I got this Unicorn Dreams. Um, which I know some of you might be like, what the heck? She has boys, but Brennan loves unicorns and rainbows and he's not afraid to just, you know, like things that he likes. And so I kind of want to do a page about that. And I thought it would be fun to use this, um, cute little unicorn, um, stamp set. Then for the graduate, And this one I mainly bought because of the books. I've been reading a lot more this month or this year, and I just thought it would be really fun to do a layout about reading. And I loved this stack of books. Also, Jonas is going to be graduating in three years. He's a sophomore this year. So, um, yeah, I just was like, well, I mean, I am going to have kids graduate, so I'll eventually need to use the whole thing, right? But look at those books. Aren't they just so cute? I love that book stack. Okay, now let's move on to the paper pads. Um, so I got, let's see, let me see. Like I said, I've already gone through all of this stuff once before, so it's kind of out of order now and I'm losing things. This is the cedar and pine paper pack that I got here. So you get one or two of each paper. So this one is the same as that one, which I really, really, really love both of these papers. Then the next one is this one, which is just absolutely gorgeous. And the back of that one is this. Then you get this kind of plaid green and the back of that is this. So that's the paper pad, which I got one of the paper pad and then I got one of the cedar and pine scrapbooking kits. So I will show you that next. Okay. So let me show you what I got in that kit. So one thing that I really do love about um, Close to My Heart is that they do scrapbooking workshops is what they call it. But basically they um, put together a few layouts. This one has four 
project pages. Well, actually five, it looks like. Yeah, so five pages that they've put together and they give you the recipe to make it. And they give you all of the papers and they tell you what papers you need to cut to what size and all of that good stuff. Then they tell you how to make the specific page. This one is super duper cute. I don't normally use the project pages. Um, sometimes I'll use ideas from them. This one's super cute. Um, but usually I make it kind of like my own. But we'll see if I end up using any of these pages. So that's what that is, and that comes included in the kit. They also give you the photo placement guides so that you can make the kit and just put these wherever they want you to put the photos if you don't have photos for them yet. I got the um, bows with that. And then this is for that one layout. Um, that had the two pieces like that. Then this is the sticker sheet, which I absolutely love sticker sheets. And then this is where those triangles came from. <laughs> when I was doing the video before they had popped out. And then you've got all the flowers. And they do this a lot where they just have the, the die cuts like in the page. It's a little weird. I kind of wish they would just have them in little baggies, but oh well, it's okay. So there's another one for project two. This is project three and four die cuts. Project four die cuts. Project five die cuts. Project five die cuts. So that is all of the die cuts for that kit. And then we have a um, black glitter element sheet. I don't know if you can see, but it's got, yeah, you can't really see. Here you can, right there. Um, that little, oh, I think it says home. I don't know if you guys can see it. And this word right here says Mary. So it's got elements in black glitter. Then we have the green plaid paper with the cork writing and the red and the polka dots paper. So I now have four of each of these papers. I'm thinking I'm gonna use this collection for my December daily this year. I really, really like it. And then you have two white sheets of paper, one of the pink and then one of the green, which I believe is evergreen. So it does tell you on here what the different colors are. And that's the other thing that I really like. Um, it tells you the colors that are featured in the kit. So we've got, if it'll focus, black, candy, apple, evergreen, French vanilla, linen, mint, peach, saffron, white daisy. So I really like that. So this must be peach. I'm wondering. Yeah, because this bashful is a little bit more pink and this is a little bit more peachy, orangey, I guess you would say, this color in here. So that is the scrapbooking kit. That also came with three 12 by 12 um, pocket pages, which I love close to my heart's pocket pages. They're very durable and they're just awesome. They're a little pricey though, because they are durable. Sorry about the Facebook messaging going on. Okay, then next up I will show you, I got the paper pack for, oh, what is this called? Aurora. So I got the papers and then I also got the paper and the sticker pack so that I could have, I really loved the papers from this one. So I will just pull out the, um, the one that has the sticker sheet. So I have four of each of these papers now. 
So the sticker sheet I just thought was super cool. I loved the purple to navy blue faded elements and the navy blue and the green. I just thought it was so pretty. And this was, I think, July and August's collection, which I didn't ever get. And so I decided to get it in, or maybe it was June and July. I don't remember. So then I have this paper, which is really, really pretty. It's um, the lights from the Northern Lights. Then you have on the back of that one, you have this uh, Constellation paper. Then you have this plaid green, which is super pretty. And then on the back of the plaid green, you have this little, just, I don't know, diamond pattern, maybe you could say. I don't know if it'll focus on it. But that's a pretty, like, blue, deep blue. And then there's this mountain range one that goes from, like, gray to white. It's just super pretty. And then, oops. You've got the arrow paper on the back of that mountain one. So I have four of each of these papers. I bought one of them as the sticker sheet and paper set, and then just one as just the paper. Okay, so I believe that is everything that I ordered from my party. So let me show you my August... No, sorry, not my August order, my September order. Because I just got my September order and I'm super excited about it. Ah, things are falling. Okay, so first off, I'll show you the papers. I got the wood grain paper pack, which is, I think it was new for September. So it's got, I think, 12 different designs, wood grain designs. And if you know me, you know I love wood grain. So there's the first one. Here's the second one. I think this one is my absolute favorite. Here's the third one. And then here's the fourth one. Here's the fifth, and here's the sixth. Ooh, I really love this one too. Here's the seventh, and the eighth. Oh, I like this one, the ninth. Ooh, I like that one too. Number 10, 11, I love this one. And then 12, love this one too. So many good wood grains in there. I'm crazy excited about that. Okay, then also, since I got so many new ink pads, I got more of these Ranger um, ink blending foam things. I also got this washi tape from So Much Happy. It was on clearance. I think it was like, I don't know, $2 and 25 cents, something like that. I just needed to round out my bill. So I picked up that and it is just a pretty little blue. It's like a medium blue with a green dot if you can see that. Then I got two of the new colors that I didn't get on my order. Um, I don't know what that is, but it's stuck on my ink pad. Um, so this is Sundance, which is a yellow, and then Cinnamon, which is kind of like a brownish red. And then last but not least, I got one of these accessory roll-ups. Um, these are on sale right now in the clearance shop. 
I got one of these a few months ago and I really, really love it for getting my, um, my sequins out and, um, in my face and organized so that I'll actually use them because I've been so bad and I don't really use sequins anymore. So I, I bought one of these cause I was like, Oh, that would be good sequin organization. And it really has been. So it's, it's kind of fun to, to be able to see all of them and everything. So all you do is just open them up and put everything in there. Now, the way that I have it organized is by color. So I'll show you the one that I already have organized. And you can tell I must be the Mom Scraps fan because I think that's where almost like most of my sequins come from. So this is the blue pocket that I have going on. And I, so I have a bunch of different blue sequins. I think for this month, for my, my close to my heart order, um, I'm probably going to buy another one because I would love to just organize all of the different colors of sequins that I have. Um, and then I want to like hang them up in front of me so that I remember that <laughs> I need to use them. So this is how I have it organized. A few sets I have more than one of, so they go in the same pocket like this hot right now. Um, I have, I think two or three sets of, and then I think classic cozy, I have two sets of, and there's a couple more that I have, you know, two or three sets. So they go in the same pockets, but this is some of my blue sequins. I believe I still have more blue sequins that I need to put in. Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> I have so many. So I think I am going to go and I'm going to get this all set up right now. I'm super excited to play with my new goodies. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Make sure to check out Close to My Heart. I'll leave the link to my consultant who is Miranda Weber. And then also check out Shadney on Etsy because she is amazing. You don't want to miss out on what she has. Thanks for watching. Bye.